This is a video demonstration of the Vintage Radio Ace Radio Kit. This is the original design before modifications and this diagram shows the three component modifications and the antenna reconfiguration for much improved signal quality. These modifications were suggested by Bill K2ROK and really improved the radio. This uh, radio kit really uh, is not a kit because everything is put together for you for the most part. It comes with uh, the long wave coil or the medium wave coil. It also comes with a short wave coil. It comes with uh, a really nice manual. Uh, it comes with a set of headphones and uh, even the batteries are included. Uh, so it's pretty complete. The manual is really well written. It uh, has a nice table of contents and it talks all about basically what radio is talks about how to put the radio together and uh, what radio waves are. Uh, talks about firing up the radio, uh, the different coil taps, and uh, making the right connections, and uh, talks about the circuit and changing the coil. It also talks about uh, uh, direct and indirect heating, thermionic emission of the tube and how this tube works. Um, how the tube amplifies, amplifiers in tandem, and how the feedback concept uh, works to produce regeneration, resonance circuits, uh, talks about the audion tube, it refers to the dual triode here as an audion tube, um, but uh, really is a, a dual triode tube. And it even talks about how you can uh, use this little receiver as a transmitter because of the regeneration control. If you turn it up high enough and put an antenna on it uh, of any length, uh, you can actually send out radio signals. So it's a pretty complete uh, little booklet here on uh, radio phenomena and uh, the, early, the early radios and uh, uh, how this radio works. Hi, this is Rick, WB3BIQ with a uh, little demo of the Radio Ace Vintage Radio Kit. It's a uh, copy of something that used to be around in the late 1920s and early 1930s. A one-tube radio, regenerative radio design. This is a really nice little kit, I think, put out by Cosmos and Thames. Uh, it retails um, on the internet for anywhere from $100 to $150. And originally, it started out from a German radio company called uh, Cosmos. And um, it uh, later became known as uh, Cosmos and Thames Radio outside of Europe. So it's still around. You can still purchase this kit. Um, I've made some mods to it. And uh, I'll go into the mods a little bit later. But right now, um, I'll give you a uh, demonstration of how it sounds. Let's turn it on and see what kind of stations we can get. Fan Hegel with Pittsburgh's Division One basketball coaches, sports personalities, and guest honoree Penn Hills. I use it with a little two watt audio amplifier, so I don't need to use the speakers. I mean the uh, the headphones. Nothing. 
gets him down. Because our victory, because our joy, because our happiness, not in other people, not in institutions, but it's in Jesus Christ. Tom, one of those workforce innovation that works. Let's get down to business. You don't travel too often for work, but when you do, you work. Tell uh, Lance Moore, he dressed. A lot of stations. Okay. Those are things that you have to make a determination. And also, too, when you get the compatibility test, you find out, well, I can depend on it any day. I can't come there. There's different types of regenerative injections. You know, in some patients, Bill, I've used stem cells. In some uh, cases, classical prolotherapy, and in many cases, prolotherapy. Uh, so there's a wide variety of ways of doing this. And that squeal was the regen control that you hear there. So a lot of stations in the middle of the day here. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this little demo. 73s from Rick, WB3BIQ.